Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Sandy and I am going to be working on my day two and day three, which is hidden and frame. And today is frame, but I didn't get to hidden yesterday. So I'm going to do that. This is the base pages PT paper terrace collaboration. I hope you all are having fun. I know I'm having a blast and I made this journal. So let's get started. I'm going to work on my hidden page first, and then we'll do the frame one second. And these are all of the different lovely YouTubers that are participating. So, so far you check out Jessica on Paper Terrace, her videos, Cindy A. Lewis has posted hers. Um, Dawn at Emerald Mamas has done hers and a thrifty day she has done her video today so make sure you check all those out and yeah let's get started so for my hidden theme what i am going to do so this is a oldie but a goodie and i think i will probably i think i'll just put it on this page right here this was my pocket from the other day <clears throat> so for my hidden this is a fun one. I um, learned it years ago from Pam at the Paper Outpost. So I'm gonna set this up here. I don't need this quite yet. Um, so this is a hidden journaling and a little pocket as well. So you just take a piece of paper. Um, this one is a little over seven inches long and about four and a quarter tall. The height doesn't really matter. You just kind of want to think about uh, how big you want to make this and you'll understand it once I get going but um, first off you want to take your paper and fold it in half and once you fold it in half then you open it back up and now that you know where your center is you want to fold this side over to the center and put that down and then you want to fold this one over to the center and fold it down so this is what we have so far. And again, you can make it whatever size you want. And then the next thing is we want to fold this little corner in down to the fold line. So you'll fold that one in and then you'll do the same thing over here. <clears throat> and what you'll have, it kind of looks like the making of a shirt or a vest. And that's what we're going to be making. And I want to decorate it up. And I'm gonna put some of this um, decorative paper on the bottom half of this. And I'm just gonna mark it with my pencil here. And I wanna mark the height of it. So I don't really measure, I just um, kind of um, eyeball it and mark it with my pencil. And then I'm gonna to attempt to cut this in half as well. Since this opens up, I'm gonna want this into two pieces. I hope everyone is doing well and having a good day. I didn't get to post a video yesterday. I had too much going on, working on my Patreon items, trying to get those ready. I'm doing a Paris theme this month for July, so I'm excited about that. And then I'm going to cut this in half, and hopefully it'll line up pretty good. So I have my two pieces here. And I want to get rid of the pencil marks. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to glue these down. Looks like I got them pretty close. I can trim them if I need to. And let's see if this guy, I haven't used this in a couple days, so let's see if it's clogged or not. Looks like it's pretty good. But I love how many people have commented that they are participating in the collaboration. And some of y'all are even making some journals to put your base page ideas in, which I think is awesome. And I have loved, I've watched, I have not watched, um, Thrifty Days paper, or Thrifty Days uh, video today yet. Um, I went out to lunch with some friends, so I haven't been able to watch it yet, but I will. But so far, every video I've watched, I've loved. 
I love everyone's different take on things and it spurs some ideas in my head, which is fun. I got glue on this one. And you could have inked these up um, before you glued them down if you wanted to. I'm not too worried about that because I'm still gonna ink it up. I'm actually gonna use, I have tea dyed over here, off to the side. So let's press these down really good. And the back side will be glued down to the page, so you don't need to ink that side up. Might even pull out a little vintage photo here. All right, and then the other thing we wanna do is glue these little flaps down. And this is just a tea dyed piece of um, graph paper. All right, and then before we glue it down, I wanted to kind of turn this into where it looks more like a shirt. So the first thing I want to do is make a little belt down here. So I am going to draw a little line. Try to keep this as straight as possible. And of course, I didn't do a very good job of that. That's okay. <laughs> we'll make it work, right? And then I want to make a little belt buckle here. And I'll extend this over. And then we'll have our little buckle and then we'll have our little holes for the belt. And then we'll have the little holes coming down for our shirt. And then I'm going to grab um, a stamp. I'm going to do a little bit of decorative stamping right here. So let me grab that. I have this stamp set. I got this from Amazon. And I'm going to use vintage photo. Yeah, okay. And I make sure the corners are wiped off. And I'm going to put one here. And I'll put one here. Perfect. And then we can bring our journal back in. Oops. And so this will be a, um, I'm gonna make this a pocket also back here. So I am gonna just glue down the three sides. This side, the bottom, and the other side. And then press that down really well. And then we have this cute little, kind of looks like a shirt, and you can juice this up some more, like make the lines a little bit thicker, or color in the belt buckle. Maybe I'll color in the belt buckle here. But this is an oldie but a goodie. And you could use a book page for this. You could, um, any sort of piece of paper. And then you open it up and you have some hidden journaling in here. And then you also have a pocket back here that you can put some additional hidden journaling in. So that is my take on hidden 
inspired by Pam at the Paper Outpost. And I just think it's really cute. And you could have inked the inside up as well if you wanted to. So for um, today's prompt, which was frame, <clears throat> I am going to be doing something, um, trying to think of something unique and different. Um, so I'm going to be using these twines to make some frames around these flowers. And so I've just arranged them. I went and pulled just some things I had in my stash real quick. A few of these flowers and a cute little fairy. I love these collaborations because it, um, I always try to take the opportunity to stop and think for a minute, okay, what's a different take that I can do on a particular prompt? I had trouble getting that one off. So yeah, as I was saying, I like to try to think about a different take on the prompt. And so this is what I came up with for frame. And what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna use red for this flower. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but this has a lot of red tones to it. And I am just gonna frame it with this thread. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try the reptile glue. And let me cut me off a piece. Oh, looks like I already have a piece cut too. And put a little bit of glue. And I got this idea, this was inspired by my daughter actually. Um, she, I tried to find the photo, but I couldn't find a photo of it. She likes making, she'll make little cards to, uh, used to write to her friends or to me and this one she did she took um, string and she put this really cool design on the string on the cover of the card and she also had like cut magazine cutouts on there it was really cool I'll have to have her send me um, that picture again if she still has it because it was, I would have never thought to do what she did. It was so cool. And so when I was thinking about frames, that made me think of what she had done with string. And it's not perfect. I'm gonna let that dry before I trim it. And then I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'll do one more with you and then I'll uh, do the other ones off camera. There we go. That one hadn't started yet, so I'm gonna do this one down here. But I'm just putting a thin little line. You could use hot glue for sure. I just don't have my hot glue on. But you'd want to make sure it was just a thin, a thin bead of hot glue. I'm using my reptile glue which I absolutely love. And Fabri-Tac glue would probably work or three in one glue. And I'm just holding it down. You can see how quickly it uh, adheres. I think this is so cute. And if I need to go back and add some more glue I can. Put that along here. And up this way. And then I'll wait till that's dry and then I'll trim it. And I like that they aren't wonky or that they're wonky and not perfect. All right, let me do the other two and I'll be right back. All right, I have the string around each of the different images there. And I did one more little string up in the corner. And I want to put, and I also have this butterfly. And I'm going to put the date, which is the 17th. And so I'm going to put July. Sorry if my head's in the way. 17, 
2024. And then I'm going to put frames. And then there you go. So simple and easy. Um, think about using just twine to make a frame. If you can't find a frame for a project that you're working on. And then over here on this side, I think I'm going to take just a little snippet of this. And just right along, I'm going to glue that right there. But first, I'm going to write. So even though I'm doing it today, I'm going to put July 16th, 2024. Sorry if I was off, off camera. And I'm going to put hidden. Perfect. And... I am going to use my tiny attacher and I'm just going to attach that right there. All right, that is my take on day two and day three. We have hidden with this fun little hidden journaling spot with a pocket and then frames using some twine to highlight some pretty images. All right, make sure you check out all the other um, YouTubers. And here is the list for the rest of the month. Make sure you check them out. So tomorrow is Envelope. And make sure you check out Leah, Thrifty Day, her video today. And tomorrow is Craft Crafty Aries. All right, guys, thanks so much. And again, thanks to Jessica for putting this collab together. Um, we are having so much fun and I hope you are too. So come along and play with us. All right. Bye.